Hey guys, Ben here, and this is going to be my unboxing, review, and sound test of the Blue Nessie microphone. So just a disclaimer, all the audio of this video has been recorded on the microphone to give you an idea of how it sounds. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the outside of the box on the front and the side. There are pictures of the microphone. On the back, there's just some descriptions of what it can be used for, such as instruments, vocals, audio for YouTube, voiceovers, etc. On the right side, there is some um, descriptions of the features of it, such as the movable head, built-in pop filter, zero latency headphone port, etc. We'll go into those later. And then we're back to the front. So now let's turn the box around and let's open it up. Okay, now we can get into the box. So when we lift the lid of the styrofoam box, we can see right there is the microphone. It's very nice. So off to the left side of it, there is a micro USB cable. It's a nice long cable, it's something like four feet. So it's good enough to suit most recording needs. And then right in the center is the microphone, the star of the show. So it's a very nice microphone cost about a hundred dollars so i have a link down below on the actual price of the microphone so you can check that out so now let's move on to the design aspect of it in the review okay so to start off this microphone is absolutely beautiful it's got a nice sleek look to it with the thin stand that although it's made of plastic looks like real metal on top it has a nice shiny chrome finish and a blue logo which advertises their company Part of the price that you pay for this microphone is in its design. It also, behind the blue logo has a built-in pop filter, so you don't ruin the design by adding an ugly pop filter over it while still maintaining the functionality of getting rid of those P's. So besides its beautiful design, it's also got neat features like the adjustable serpentine head, which, although adding some versatility to the microphone, is actually not removable, so you can't take the microphone off its built-in stand. So let's move down to the actual base of the stand. So the base of the stand is made out of a nice heavy metal to give it a lot of weight, as you can hear. It hits the table pretty hard. On the back of the stand, there is a headphone port for zero latency audio monitoring, a three-way mode switch, and a U micro USB port. So the switch has this nice audible click that you can hear, and it's got three different modes. A music mode, which is good for recording any sort of musical instruments. A cardioid mode, or narration mode, which is what you would use for voiceovers like this, and a raw mode. On the front of the bass is a touch-sensitive mute button that creates a glowing light when it is unmuted and a strobe light when it is muted. This light is much easier to see in the dark but it is still slightly visible in a light room. Then around the base is a ceramic volume ring to control headphones. Now let's move on to the sound test. Okay, so to start off the sound test, I am gonna be comparing three different microphones. The first is the Blue Nasi, the second is the built-in microphone on the camera, and the third is a pair of Apple EarPods. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off, let's test out the Blue Nessie. So I've been talking on this for the entire video so you get an idea of how it sounds. Right now, I'm, I am about a foot away from the microphone so you can hear how it sounds from a foot away. Like, I can lean back. Now am I, I am about two feet, maybe a foot and a half, and a little less than two feet away, and you can see how it sounds. I'll get really close to the microphone so you can hear how it sounds really close up. You can hear all that. So this is the Blue Nessie sound test. Now let's move over to the built-in mic on the camera so you can get an idea of how that sounds. Okay, so now I'm talking on the built-in microphone on the camera. As you can hear, it's a little more echoey than the Blue Nessie microphone, but that's a given considering it's about three feet away from me. So I'm talking at a normal volume level directly to the camera. The camera is a Samsung NX3000. Just in case you were wondering, it's got dual microphones, so one for left and right ear. Um, and now, let's move on to the Apple EarPods so you can get an idea of how those sound, because these are a fairly cheap set of um, headphones. 
Okay, so now I have the Apple earpods in, so let's switch over to those and get an idea of how these sound. Okay, so now I am talking on the Apple earpods. These are about a $29 pair of headphones. They are directly from Apple. They come with the iPhone. I am recording this right now into the voice memo map on the iPhone, so it should get a raw recording. Um, the microphone is about a few inches from my face. It's where it would normally sit when you're wearing the headphones. These are a normal style headphone that you would get if you were like trying to record on your phone. So it gives you an idea of what a cheap pair of headphones cost, sounds like. That only costs less than 50 bucks. I can pull it away from my face a little so you can get an idea of the distance sound. This is also comparable to one of those clip-on microphones that you would get that would clip onto your shirt. So you can get an idea of if you wanted to buy one of those to record the audio with, it would work like that. Okay, so now we're back on the Blue Nessie, and as you can hear, it's a much better microphone compared to the other two. The built-in camera was a little bit echoey, and the ear pods were a little bit not so crisp as the Blue Nessie. However, the Blue Nessie, even though it's the Victor, is still not as good if you consider the price compared to the other two microphones. I mean, the camera was granted a nice expensive camera, however, there are cheap microphones built in and the Apple EarPods cost less than 30 bucks, like $29.99. So when you're weighing your options, yes, the Blue Nessie is a good microphone, but you have to consider how often you're going to use the microphone and also what scenarios are you going to use it. Because the Blue Nessie is a tethered microphone, as you can tell, and so it doesn't work as well for recording when you're on the go in trade shows, for example. Whereas the EarPods or a comparable clip-on microphone is much better for those out in front of the camera scenarios. So that has been the sound test of the Blue Nessie microphone. Now let's go and wrap up the review. So overall, the Blue Nessie is an excellent microphone for only around $100. It's a superior design and excellent quality that I haven't seen in any other comparable microphones. The only downsides to it are the fact that it isn't that portable, so you can't use it in a trade show, and also the microphone unit is locked down to the stand, so you can't actually take it off. But overall, it is a great microphone, and I would recommend it for anybody needing to get a microphone to do voiceovers for YouTube or record music. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and also like this video if you thought it was much better than my last one. So now I'm going to leave you with a music clip I recorded on my guitar. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Here it is.